Da yanımda A milli kadın voleybol takımı baş antrenörümüz Daniele Santrelli var koç. Welcome to Turkey again. It's really pleasure to meet you again. Uh, we can start with your uh, career actually. I mean, you won uh, 52 matches in a row. Uh, so what can you say about uh, this succeed? Have you ever dreamed that before? I never think uh, about it. The ball, it's always a pleasure to come back into the dream. It's like my second house. It's every time nice to come back. And I feel like to be at home. Um, I don't know because I never think about what we are doing. So I, I, I know what, uh, what, uh, what is my goal with my club, where we want to arrive. I know that every victory is important for us. It's not important how many victories in a row we can do. So it's important that we continue to improve, we continue to win. If the victory are a lot, for sure we are happy. But I never count. There is every time someone that remind me, Danny, now the, the, the victory are 52. For me, it's not important. So I know very well that the most important things are the trophies and not how many victories in a row. So, coach, uh, next summer actually uh, we have really significant tournaments, just like VNL and Olympic Games. So, as the time approaches, how do you feel? I feel very, very well, for sure. After the past summer, the past summer was uh, like a surprise for me. I didn't know what uh, I can wait because, uh, for sure, I know the volleyball in Turkey, but I didn't know the players, I didn't know the the, the fun, uh, I didn't know a lot of things about uh, Turkey. After the first summer is not new for me. Now I know the situation. Now I know what we can do. But for sure the pressure will be higher because everyone uh, wants to catch these uh, two important trophies. First of all, VNL. For us it's not so important to uh, win the VNL, but we want to win the VNL. Because uh, I think that is a mentality. It's not... Uh, only one target for the ranking it's important for our mentality so we need to fight for me to win every match every tournament that we play but for sure the most important tournament will be the olympic games olympic games uh, will be for me the first time in my career short career uh, i think that uh, it's a dream if i think now about this i want now in this moment uh, only dream about the olympic games then I want to realize and I want to play the Olympic Games uh, uh, because we really fight a lot to try to catch this uh, qualification and now we want to play our best volleyball because uh, I think that we deserve. It's not enough what we did in the past summer. What we want to do in the future is important. So coach, as you said, uh, Olympic Games has much to do with uh, not only with your career but also for the players. Uh, so, will you rest some players uh, during the VNL to be ready, actually? I don't think so. First of all, I need to understand who will arrive at the end of this season. Between uh, uh, the Turkish Championship and the Champions League, I need to understand which team will arrive until the end. I think that every player uh, deserves uh, a short moment uh, to rest. I didn't talk about with the players, because this is not the moment. I think that at least... Uh, will be not so long the summer will be short for this reason we don't have so much time to prepare the olympic qualification how we want um, the olympic games sorry no the olympic qualification and uh, for sure we need to use uh, the vnl like uh, the most important tournament for us to improve until uh, the olympic games and uh, i don't think that the list of players will be big because i need uh, to prepare a uh, few players the player that I have in my mind uh, for uh, the Olympic Games. So, coach, uh, as you know, Melissa Vargas had an injury. Actually, I am sure that uh, you followed her process. Uh, do you prefer to uh, rest for the Melissa Vargas for the VNL? Actually, Melissa Vargas rest a lot. <laughs> Until now, rest a lot. I saw that she play uh, one set in the last match. It was a surprise for me. I cannot wait to see her, but I'm for sure I'm so happy to see her and I saw her also happy to play after a long, long period. I think that uh, she took uh, five, something like five months of rest because for the injury before, because she had a short moment to rest and then uh, she had this injury 
and for her, uh, this moment, uh, it was important not only for the body, but also for the mind. I think that now she wants to play, and I think that uh, she doesn't need to rest a lot. <laughs> So, coach, last summer uh, we saw different uh, tactics, different plans. I, I mean, uh, you prefer to use uh, players in a different positions, just like Ebrar, uh, Aicha. So, uh, uh, what uh, surprises await for us? <laughs> I think that the moment for the surprises is it's, it's over. <laughs> Now we need to continue this process uh, to improve. We need to now. We know what we can do, and I think that now it's important uh, just to do one step more to confirm who we are. Uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe some player could enter in this uh, not big list, but I have some young player in my mind. I know that maybe VNL is not. This VNL is not the best moment to prepare uh, uh, the younger generation, but maybe could happen that some player can enter in this list. But I don't think that I, I have a lot of surprise this summer. <laughs> so, coach, uh, when you uh, begin to choose uh, players for the squad, uh, what will you uh, pay attention to for the players? About uh, uh, attention, I mean, what what kind of uh, mentality for the selection for the players? I, I think that after the the past summer, in the mentality of the players, something changed. This is what I feel. I feel that now they think to be part of something important. Now they really think to be strong. And uh, I want that every player think that it's a privilege to be to be and to stay in national team. When I always had this uh, feeling, when I have the the jersey of Turkish national team, for me it's really an honor and privilege. And and I'm not Turkey. I cannot imagine what mean uh, for one Turkish player to dress the the, the the jersey of Turkish national team. I think that uh, in one uh, country like this, to be part uh, of one uh, important national team like this must be a privilege and everyone uh, need to deserve this privilege and need to give uh, their best uh, for themselves first of all but for every fan uh, and and for the people of uh, for every person uh, of turkey so i will ask uh, some uh, players just like yasemin güveli as you know uh, when i uh, ask her uh, she said to me uh, if santrelli watching me uh, it makes me so happy so what can you say about her uh, Um, so, first of all, you ask me about uh, Vargas. Uh, believe me, I don't like so much to play to speak about the single players. Uh, I follow her. I saw that her uh, she had some problem during this season. I'm so happy that she found uh, a different position for her, a different ambient for her, a different club, and now she is playing good. This is important. This is what I want. I would like that every Turkish player try to find uh, their place to. Play their best volleyball, because if they stay in one club and they don't play so much, it's not so good for me and for them. For sure, I need to think about the national team, but I need to think about their self first of all, and then the national team. National team is a consequence of their choice. If they decide to stay in one club, very good club, for sure it's a decision for a short uh, moment, like one year, maybe two. But then they need to find one club to play. This is what I want uh, from every Turkish player. I know that it's not always possible, but I'm so happy that she found uh, a good club and uh, in this moment she's playing so good. So, coach, uh, our president Mehmet Akpistun was in Italy not only for the meeting, but also for you. Uh, you are like uh, father and son. Uh, so what can you say about uh, this relationship? It's strange because I feel like uh, him like a uh, father for me. Huh? I don't know, so it's uh, strange because I met him uh, the past summer. We had four months together, but he's always so nice with me. He's like he wants to protect me and I feel this, I feel this uh, sensation. I feel that he's not fake and uh, every time it's nice for me to see him, every time it's nice to hug him. I, I, I think that everyone, when uh, saw our hug, uh, think that uh, this is natural, this is 
really reality and uh, I like also his smile he doesn't speak English I don't speak Turkish so it's not it's simple for us not to communicate but sometimes with one uh, I don't know when I see his eyes or when we are we understand a lot of things and it's always nice to see him sure so uh, what is Turkish uh, Turkey Turkey's position uh, in your life in your heart actually for Turkey where can you put it Turkey in your life like country yeah yeah, yeah. Ah. like country <laughs> before was important now is more important so I it's strange I cannot imagine in this way for sure Italy is my country but I feel like uh, when I come here no uh, your uh, power comes from uh, Turkish fans actually uh, they watch the matches uh, on the streets on the seaside uh, so, uh, are you ready for uh, this excitement uh, for uh, this summer? Ah, for sure, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I, every time I feel to be tired, but every time I find my energy and my power inside myself, and I will be ready with uh, every players of this national team. I feel that we will give our best for sure, because uh, we want to catch this dream. Olympic Games is a dream, not only for us, but also for the country, and I feel some important feeling inside myself. So, Coach, thank you so much, and uh, good luck for the uh, summer. Thank actually. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Coach.